Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content, the opening call. You just hit subscribe, the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. Six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of twenty two percent. One year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred and ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. Bottom line, great newsletter. Now, when you get the opening call, folks, you're going to get about ten to eleven archives, so you really understand how to ride the wave and ride this market because this is a traders market. That's the bottom line. We're going to. I don't think this. I think this volatility is going to continue. Um, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very well. Thank you. And interesting, Mark. You were talking about that pattern that retests the bottom on the left side. Yes. So I thought I'd bring up a couple of things. I've been speaking to awesome. you a little, for a little while about this pattern that I call the dreaded H, because if that left side, if you come down with a straight line, you make the arch formation, how you come back to test that left side low, I call it the dreaded H because it looks like an H, yes. is absolutely imperative to monitor. So what we're looking at, what I said to subscribers to my opening call this morning, is that if the Dow holds under 33,800 for more than about 40 minutes today, you've got to be very careful. And one of the reasons is, I've been talking about this for a while, here's the sharp move down from the high 36,952 all-time high on the 5th of January. It comes down to 35,639, and you can see there's a little H right there where it fails within three bars, and then it comes down, takes out the support, push, it goes down to 33,150 on the 24th of January. But then what happens is it gets a really sharp rally, and it goes all the way to 35,824, and then it starts that arch formation, and we've been monitoring this very closely because there was a moment where it could have made what I call the lowercase h goes to an M-shaped pad, lowercase m. So it did a little bounce, and then it fails. So I said if it closes under the 200-period moving average, you've got to be very careful. And uh, you can see what happened. Today we went down from the 33,150 low of the 24th of January. Today we went down to 33,364. So that's really close, but it isn't there. But now have a look at this. You've got the Dow with that H pattern. You've got the S&P with the H pattern. 4222 was 0.62 was a low on the 24th. Has a really good rally to the 45.95 area. Turns around, makes that arch formation, comes down, and today the low was, uh, I think it was uh, f uh, 4267. So it is still above it, but you can see the MACD's weak, the stochastic weak, on balance volumes weak, relative strength, uh, all, all, all these things that I look at. And the 200 period moving average is now at 4409. That's a strong resistance. So I, and if you look at the weekly chart, there's another H pattern right here. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let me just get a drink of. Now, if you look at the QQQ, this is unbelievable. 334.15 was this is the NDX 100 QQQ trust, Investor Trust. Yes. So, 334.15 3, was a low on the 24th. It rallies not like the others, it rallies quite well. It goes to 370.10 turns around, makes that arch formation, and where's the low today? 334.35, 20 cents higher. So each one of these, and if you go to the IWM, I've been saying that the actual daily chart of the IWM is a lot better than the others, but the weekly and monthly charts are not good at all. So I wanted to show you, look, look at this example that I've got. I, I was yeah, the IWM is intriguing, isn't it, Basil? Because, you know, it's, it's it, what has happened, folks, that was the first one down, but it's really right. not getting the selling, which is pretty cool. And it's not, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at, so we've been raising cash, we've raised one of the highest cash positions we've had in a long time. And I think what I've been saying is that we don't have to be in a rush to buy, but there are going to be some fantastic um, stocks that are just really good stocks that have, have been decimated because of the selling pressure in the group. Sure. And that's what we're trying to isolate. So look at this. The S&P, the 10-minute E-mini, went to 4260, 
at about 3 o'clock uh, this morning. It had this huge rally. Remember the fourth highest peak, peak D, is where we always get a little bit careful. So it goes to a peak D at about 6 o'clock, and it runs up to the 43, I call it the 43, I'll give you the exact price. It goes to 43.50. Uh, and then it pulls back and goes sideways. And you can see this 200-period exponential moving average was resistance, and it broke out, and then it became support. Broke under it and went to just two higher peaks to 4385.75, and then came down, making like this big arch formation, like I was talking about the H. This is just a simple technique of looking at it as an arch. And where did it go to? It went to 4261. Point, I think it was uh, 50. Yeah, four, uh, point 50. Okay. Within a point and a half of that left side low. And look at this big, I call it a counter trend rally. And where did the counter trend rally stop? At the 200 period moving average. So I'm using the same principle that I've used for years in this pattern that I call the H pattern or the arch formation. And I'm, I, I'm with you. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, under all the other things that we look at, the VIX index, the, the uh, hysteria in the market based on uh, just regular folks saying, I've had enough, I've just got to get out. I don't think we're quite there. We're real close, but I don't think I we're agree. quite there yet. Yeah, that's and that says to me 33,150 on the Dow, but I'm going to make it even more intriguing because I don't think that the VIX index is just going to turn around from here. And uh, it made a double top today at 3204. Uh, that was the high of about uh, six sessions ago. I suspect that before all this is done, if we're going to get at least a decent counter trend rally that says we've got a little bit of time and some price on our hands before we come back to do even more testing, I think that volatility index has to scream into the 34 area, maybe even a little higher. Um, on this particular move now, because the Dow is so close to that left side low, um, maybe this is the one where the VIX doesn't spiral all that high, but I think when we finally make a really good blow, I think those are the things that I'd be looking for. I want to see the VIX really scream and give a, a, a wonderful sell signal on the volatility index so that prices can move higher. But if you're looking at some of these stocks that have just been decimated, to, I mean, look, I, I haven't looked at it today, but Adobe, this is a, just an outstanding company, and it goes from the 700 level to 441. I mean, this is quite, even Salesforce, which is a leader in, in the cloud. Uh, Salesforce goes from 311 in November, trading right now at 196. So there is something going on here that it's really telling us that money has come out of the uh, the tech sector and. Maybe coming a little bit into into value, but more importantly, I, I think that some of these stocks will at least, even, you know, even if, let's just take uh, Salesforce, if it goes from 196 to last Monday's high at about 210, that's already a pretty decent percentage gain. So I think we're ready for some kind of, or getting ready for some kind of a bounce, but it'll be a bounce at first. And listen, folks, very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the opening call right and featured content. Baz, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.